And here to tell us about it, none other than his Dugu Adugu, see you? Dugu Adugu. Sal Davis, the man. Lots of tweets coming in. Muhammad Sheikh, you say, Ali was a great scholar. We will surely miss him. Muhammad Sharif says, one of the charismatic and iconic Muslim scholars, Professor Ali. Robert Muirori says, Masri was truly a global icon and a Kenyan hero. Sal Davis really giving great history. And then uh, Mwanzui Mbogoli says, the way Sal Davis talks about the late great Professor Ali makes me feel like I personally knew him. Great tribute. Well done, man. Thank you. What a man. What, oh my. <laughs> what a man. You know, I, I, the first time I heard about him, I was in America, and this triple heritage came out. Africa, a triple heritage. And then the documentary series. Unbelievable. Fantastic. We've been talking about it with a, a couple of friends of mine. And, you know, this man was, he saw it all. They're going to get bigger now. Because, you know, once the guy has gone, that's when... Because in America, there were certain, certain channels wouldn't show that. Yeah. Because he was, he was glor talking about people like, like Gaddafi in Libya and all, Correct. you know, things like that. Yeah. So in America, he, he, he told me that, that they, they, were not gonna, they were not going to show it. And they put it in the small, small stations mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. But now, I think, they're going to get big. I'm, I'm sure about it. Yeah. Because... Because Ali, you know, when you talk about Ali, like I said to you, Ali was not an extrovert. Ali was an introvert. But Ali was an actor. I'm telling you. Is that right? Ali knew exactly what he would like to do and how to do it. And if you went to him and said to him, you know, Ali, you know, and he'd look at you and he would listen to you, but he knew exactly what he wanted to do. He wouldn't have anything to do yeah. with what you're telling him. Yeah. But he was never rude in any way. When you were in Manchester, remember he, he, he went over to Columbia University, did he? And yeah, for, after Manchester, but he, didn't he got say a scholarship. Well. No, he didn't like uh, Columbia. What? I, I'm not, not going to say that, but, but said he, it. He, did, <laughs> he, doesn't think, he didn't think that Columbia could offer him educationally, Columbia. academically, yeah, yeah, anything. So he came back to England and he went to Nuffield College. And uh, he stayed there for a year, I think. And then he, he left. Now, I, I, I went to college uh, from Ali after three months living with Ali together. I went to Portsmouth College of Technology. But every holiday that I had, I used to come back to Manchester before Ali finished. Because mm. Ali finished also during that year. Yeah. So I used to come back and uh, give him my report. And then he would write to my father. So he, he, they, they call my father Baba Ifu. You know, like they couldn't call him like uh, Sharif Abdullah. My father is a Sharif. You know that I, I come from a Sharif family. So you're royal. Well, you're royalty. In my blood. <laughs> you're royalty, Sal. You know, you know I, I'm a son of a Sharif. Which pe people tend to glorify you a little bit mm. by wanting to kiss your hand, which I refuse. Because I say, come on. You can't do that. Yeah. My, it, was, it, was to, it was to upset my father because my father had an office. I used to go to the office when I came from England. Now, you know, I come from England. I'm liberalized. I mean, you know what? You know what? What? You know, I'm, uh, you know, yeah. I'm, uh, anyway. And people used to come to want to kiss my hand. They kiss my father's hand. Want to kiss my hand, I would refuse. My father was, used to get annoyed about it. Forget about my father because we're not talking about him. Mm. We're talking about Ali. Mm -hmm. Now, Ali, uh, when I arrived in Manchester, Ali was there, Bujra was there, Mohammed uh, Panya was there, and, and they were walking towards me. I was walking with my bags, going to the address that I had of Ali. And I catch them on the middle of the road. This is the truth. And Ali looked at me and said, Salim, is that you? I said, yes. How come you've grown so big? I kept all these clothes for you. You know, he kept some of old like, sweaters and all that. Yeah. No way will they fit me anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, oh, thank you very much, Uncle Ali. Thank oh. you, thank you. But, you know, that was it. Great okay, story. Um, what did the prof think of your rise to fame and fortune? What did he think of your singing, your entertaining, all that stuff you did? I never told anybody, but I'll tell you today. You know, when I started, uh, Ali came one time to where I was auditioning, doing something, and Ali was surprised because the people tend to, to, to like what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And my, my little personality that I had it sort of attracted the people. So what happened, Ali said to me when we got home, he said, Sal, you want to be a lawyer? Yeah, because that's what my whole intention of my father is to go there, do my A-levels, become a lawyer. 
you understand? And I, I said, yeah. He said, uh, think again. Music might be in your blood. This is Ali now. And I said, listen, you're not telling me that I should stop going to do my law and go music. He says, well, I'm only telling you, music is, because we used to talk, although he was older than me, but he, he would talk with, he can meet kids, and he would sit down and maybe talk with them like, like they were friends. Hmm. That's the type of a guy Ali was. So I, 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 I became a performer. Believe me, Ali had something to do with it. And I never, never, never said this at all, hmm. you know. But uh, he, he sort of pushed it, yeah. pushed it. He didn't force me. He didn't discourage you. No, no, he didn't. And I said, but my dad would be upset. Uh, he says, Sal, you always got to go along with what you feel. What's in your heart? If you think this is what you want, do it. Did he come to any of his shows? Did he later on? No, no. He came, not, you know, only about a few years back. It's the last time I saw Ali was in Dar es Salaam. Hmm. I was doing a show at the... Uh, place called Moving Pick. And he came there with Bujra, Abdullah Bujra, and he was being interviewed by a guy called Hamza Kasongo, who's a friend. We worked together at the BBC. Hamza was interviewing a professor. When they finish interviewing, professor says to Hamza, I must go to see Sal. And he said, um, Hamza said, yes, Sal is at uh, the Moving Pick. So they all came to the Moving Pick. And I saw Ali there, and my eyes lit up, you know, and uh, here I was, uh, you know, grown up and all, and uh, they came for a seminar. I can't remember somebody died, who was quite a well, well famous mm. guy, mm. and uh, the seminar was being done there. Was that the last time you saw him? Yeah, the last time I saw Ali. Two thousand and? Uh, I can't remember now. But six, six, seven years ago. Did he watch your show at the Moving Pig? Yeah, yeah. I was watching. I was with my band. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, uh, he watched me. He was in the audience. He was in the audience. What did you sing for him? Sir? I didn't sing for well, you. You must have, sir. No, no, you no. You must have sang the song. No, not for him. Let's do go a do Do go a do go. You got that, huh? I got that. Do go a do go. I like that. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, Is that like a, my brother uh, from another mother? Yeah, that's it. My brother from another mother. mother. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I mean that uh, Ali is the one who was very instrumental to exactly what I did, and until this very day, I appreciate what mm. whatever he did. I mean he's. I can't explain more to you than, than, than that, but... Uh, What's the one thing you miss about him, uh, Sal? The one, one thing? Missing... Uh, he came here one time, and he gave a lecture, and I, but that was before that. He gave a lecture at the uh, Sheikh Zayed uh, University. In, uh, the, we went. That was during the time when Bush was standing against Kerry, mm -hmm. or Kerry was standing against Bush. Right. And Ali gave a lecture in, uh, regarding that. And I remember clearly saying, me saying to Ali, Ali, what do you think if Kerry came in, would his policies change, uh, not following the uh, Bush's footsteps? Yeah. And Ali said, no. Americans have a tendency of all doing the same thing. When I watch Obama now, I think he's right. Because Obama is doing the same thing. I'm going to close Guantanamo. He didn't close anything. I'm going to do this. Yeah. He's not done any. I mean, you yeah. know. So, I mean, you know, but, but uh, you know, uh, uh, America is the kind of a place where you cannot be a leader. You're led mm -hmm. by others. That's what Ali said. America, you cannot be a leader. You're going to be led by others. Yeah. Because if you want to attack a country, you have a, a country of uh, national security. Right. You meet them, yeah. then they take you, tell you, no, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. They give you no, the options. No, you can't do this. Yeah. No, you can't do this. Yeah. So, Obama is the same. Bush was the same. And uh, Kerry's would have been the same. Yeah. Um, before I go on to my next question, Bernard Abuga says, I remember him as the best author, especially his play, Kilio Chahaki. Abisa. Do you remember that? Yeah. 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 I did this play in my O-level KCSE. Yeah. That's what Bernard says. Rest in peace. Yeah, he did Kilio a play. Chaka Chahaki. Yeah. And it was uh, on the radio, you know, and uh, there were a few guys that, that, uh, the, and I... <laughs> I remember I was also involved with that. We were in Mombasa at Sauti Ambita. Mm. It was that at Sauti Ambita. And, uh, you know, I had a part that said, uh, I can't remember what it was. Nababako, something, That was my part. Yes. That was it. But Ali was directing and producing. You had a cameo. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Frank Dida says, when Sal Davis talks, you just sit down, sip your tea, and listen. Great storyteller he is. Thank you. Rest in peace, Prof. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. But I, I, what I'm telling you is from my heart. And because I know the man so well. And I'm, like I said to you, there are other guys yeah. who know Ali probably better than I do. But they did not live with him. He had a friend who died, Kim. Uh, Kimwini. We used to call him Sharif Kimwini. He died, but he was really... Uh, uh, the Ali son, Kim, was named after Kimwini. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, one of the sons. Right. Kimwini, Kimwini Kim. And uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you like, like it was. Actually, I didn't want to come to do this Ali thing, but I... My brother here. Yeah, I called I, you. Remember, I called you yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I called you that day because. Yeah. But uh, but I uh, then I thought about it. And I said, why not? Yeah. Let me go and give yeah. what is in my heart. Doctor Mutuku Musili says Professor Mazuri, one of Africa's most respected scholars and political writers. Mm. Rest in peace. Could he have spent more time in Africa, uh, Sal? Because you know he he spent a lot of time in America, at least his later years. Yeah, well, you know, because I think maybe what he thought, he must have thought that that America was a place where he could get his his, his kind of a fame that he was mm -hmm. that he wanted. Like I said to you, yeah. he wasn't a guy who pushed himself so much. No? Yeah. He was an, an an introvert. But you know, sometime maybe he had to be an extrovert, which I don't know. Yeah, and that Nobel must have hurt him too. You know? Yeah, he, he that 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 that. Well, I don't know if it hurt him, but I'm sure. He was disappointed and him and wally were actually fighters they fought all the time yeah yeah there was a beef between them there was a yeah yeah, yeah, yeah there was professional and ali used to have a a letter that comes out every year mm -hmm. and you send it to all his i used to get the letter too from from ali and I, I never i don't know where you know i'm i'm just no good at keeping things but I saw your but, book today. Yes. You've written a book. I'm going to write a book. I guarantee you. But, do, do me a favor, Sal. Yeah. Read it first. No, I'm going to read your book, definitely. But, uh, man, I tell you. What's your what, title going to be? My title? You can, yeah, no, I'm not going to say yes, you can. You can do it. Because I came from Kibokoni. Imagine. Going all the way to England. Imagine. Competing with the kids in England who were all white boys. Imagine. And I am from Africa. So... But lucky for me, because of Professor, I was able to be able to talk. And the people you met, Sal. Yeah. The people you met. Oh. Sammy Davis Jr. Oh. Harry Belafonte. All, all those people. Forget. I, I'm not talking about Sal Davis Maybe today. Maybe Today we're talking. Just saying. I'm, no, but we're talking about Professor Missouri today. Please. Okay. Speaking forget of Forget about Sal Davis. <laughs> Can't forget about Sal Davis. <laughs> Musia Jamo says, Sal Davis on JKL is quite refreshing to listen to. Such a wealth of history and heritage. Hashtag remembering Mazrui. I tell you. Now, can you imagine Sal Davis? Too? Uh, if I came on and you didn't know that I'm coming to talk about Mazrui, I'm sure there's a guy out there saying, What? Sal Davis? Talk about Mazrui. Mm. They had no idea yeah. where I came this from. This relationship. Yeah. And where that, I came that from. picture. Picture. Yeah. Paris, if you can hear me, I'm sure you can. Yeah. Put that picture up again because that photo, 1960, 60, we took beautiful photo. And you know, you were the, that, with the short it, crop, you know. Yeah, it, it was is. Ali who said you were looking cool, man. Go to the studio yeah. and take a picture. I said, well, if you want to, Uncle, let's go. So we went there, we took a picture. But you know, I, uh, who am I to say anything about Ali? Mm. But so did you all hang out together? Did you hang out over there? No. Uh, hang because out. He, he was no. too scholarly. No, no. I used to go out on my own because if Ali was studying all night, sometimes, you know, I, I just go go out, go to the dance halls and all that, yeah, you know, yeah. singing, you know, that's all I used to You do. were his alter ego. What do you mean by alter ego? You were the opposite of him. The you opposite were of him, <laughs> definitely. The guy would sit, I'm telling you, all night reading. Hmm. And how do you read all night hmm. with a pot of tea? How do you read all night? I mean, I kept asking myself, and I said, Ali, how? And then he would sleep from six until nine, Nine, he'd go for lectures. He'd come back, you understand? We'd have something to eat. Huh? Uh, or maybe sometime I'd go to the university. Uh, in those days, I could go in because uh, there was no security in that sense. And we'd go to the canteen and have something to eat in the canteen at the university. But, but he, he always, always reading. How many kids did he have? Five? He had five kids. Five boys? Boys. Mm. All boys. Mm. But I have not met the other two. Mm -hmm. The other, these three, Molly's uh, kids, yeah. uh, I knew Molly well, because that was during my time in Manchester with Ali, was also Molly's time. Molly was, uh, at that time, also at the university, uh -huh. in Manchester University. Uh -huh. Very bright lady. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Smart, smart woman. 
Well, an English lass. Mm. You know, so, English lass. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, and his wife now is Ghanaian? Uh, Nigerian or Ghanaian? Ghanaian. I've not met Ghanaian. her. Yeah, I've not met her. Mm. I've not met her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mwangi Donato says, Kilio Chahaki and now your book, Jeff. No words. Hey, man. Hey, hey, wait till my book comes. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I'm just if you would, if you were to give a tribute to uh, Professor Ali Masrui, tribute, musical tribute, Sal. No, he wasn't musically inclined. No, but he, but he loved your music. He, he, Mom, don't love my music. What he did is he just appreciated me. Now this got me in trouble with my son. My son was here not long ago, and my son has done. He's at university in Loughborough University, near Leicester, in Nottingham, near Nottingham. Now. He's done engineering for two years. He's got his last year now. This is the truth. He doesn't want to do it. He says he wants to do something else. What? Now, he wants to do what? Journalism. No. I'm telling you the truth. Now, Send him he, my he, book. Came, <laughs> he came to me and we, we were together now, only last month. And uh, he said to me, he said, Dad, I'm changing. I said, listen to me. Finish your degree in this, then you can do anything you like. Mm -hmm. He said, listen, don't you tell me what to do. Because mm. you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Now, I had no words to say. Yeah. No, this is the truth. I had no words to say. Yeah. And I said, but you only got a year to go, Abdullah. Come on. He said, no, a year for me is too long. This is my son now. He is his father's son. Now, you know, and he was stubborn. And apparently, his mother said to me that he wants to do mathematics now. I don't know. I thought it was journalism, so I make up now, your mind. Yeah, no, I don't know. That, make make up your mind, man. I don't know. The mother, journalism, mathematics. I know. He wants to do journalism. All of a sudden, I said to the mama, has he started this journalism? He said, no. He said he wants to do mathematics. I don't know. Yeah. He's getting free, free money, so he just does whatever he wants. I tell you. <laughs> now, let me tell you a little bit it, on, on, on Ali. Ali was not musically inclined. Ali liked classical music. Mm. Ali liked kind of a, he went to Italy. Yeah. And actually it, uh, it hit him hard in Italy, musically and everything to do with Italy. So when he came back, and I, I, I think I saw him, I was in England, and he said to me, he said, I've been to Italy, I'll tell you one thing, that's one of the best places to go and sing. So I, I teased him, I said, oh, one cornetto, give it to me. And he laughed. That's an Italian song. Good, and I know it. Yeah. yeah. So I, he laughed his yeah. head off. But I tell you, we lost the man. How about the other one? We lost. Nes Noro. Nes Noro. Bro, that's a church song, man. No, it's not, man. Oh, Paparotti. The... Ah, Paparotti, the big oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Wangari Wasiori says, much respect to Sal. He has refused to talk about himself, but Ali Mazrui. Oh, yeah. Today is Alice Masrui. I've just been on your show. So people will start thinking that you and I are partners in this show. Maybe you know? we are. Maybe we should do a tag no, team. No, 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 no. Maybe we should no. do an act. I've just been here. We were there at Pani University together. Kilif County. Yeah. And that was a great show. Smoking. That was a good show. Smoking. That was a good show. Yeah. Anyway, okay. now Ali Masrui, please. He's, he, he, we're going to bury him on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Big two. Yeah. Uh, well, Huge. Oh, what? 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 I Dignitaries, think, I mean. Uh, my, my dad was buried in a big way in Mombasa. But I have no, I have no doubt that Ali will surpass that and maybe uh, 10 times more. Mm. He was that, you know, he, he's a son of, he, uh, actually I, I hate to share him with you. He's a son of Mombasa. I hate to share him with anybody because he was a Mombasa guy yeah. who went out there, also did his thing. You know, so I don't want to share. What should I share yeah. with with you people in Kenya? <laughs> uh, he's, 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 he's ours. Yeah. Pwani is Kenya. Uh, well, no, no, no. Don't get me involved now in this Pwani is Kenya. Pwani is Kenya. <laughs> and I am a Pwani and I am a Kenya. Yeah. Finish yeah. With that. A lot of dignitaries are going to show up, aren't they? Uh, I'm not going to mention names because I don't know. I know for sure. I have all the itinerary of what is going to happen. He's going to arrive. Uh, we're going to take him home there. Then from there, we're going to take him to the mosque. And from the mosque, we're going to take him to the burial. Then we're going to go to a place called the Aga Khan, something where the service will be held. Mm. Uh, Muslim, I don't know. Muslim don't have services. But uh, I'm sure there's some people who want to say 
few words. Think, few words uh -huh. about about Ali. Yeah. You know. So yeah. that's where we're gonna go. Yeah. Is he the greatest author? Is he the greatest Kenya has ever produced or will produce? No. No, but you know when you say that. You don't know well, now maybe up until well now. there's also Ngungi with Ngungi with Yongo, who is big legend. also huge yeah but I mean you know I'm 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 not gonna compare him with anybody they both have their their own thing Ngungi with Yongo has his own thing and Masrui has his own thing so to compare them is not easy although in status yeah. in achieving I think Ali passes Ngungi just a little bit he does huh? just a little bit. Not much, just a little. And there are not too many people from the coast who have uh, achieved what he has achieved. Oh, well, we've had, we've got some great guys on the coast too. You know, people like uh, Professor Haider, uh, Matano, uh, uh, listen, man, Professor Bujra, Professor Ida. Ida Salim. Oh. Salim, who wrote the, uh, one of the writers of the Katiba, the constitution here. Yeah. He's one of our big boys, mm. big boys, mm. big boys. Yeah. He that's, was, that's not the guy who had a TV show at one time, is it? Yeah, he did. Is that the guy? Yeah, he did. He, he had a TV show here. Dr. And Ida Salim. Dr. Ida Salim. Sa Dr. Ida Salim. So many regions now. Mungu zebi abidi. We kazi mzuri sana. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Ida menafikia. Yeah. Oh. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Ida Salim. Salim. Ida Salim. Yeah. You know where? They, these boys are local. Yeah. But I tell you the achievement they have done. Yeah. I mean, it's Genevieve. Genevieve was, but he, he decided to go into civil service. Mm. He was more of a civil servant than... Uh, than uh, the, 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 and then, of course, you know, there was Salim Abdullah Salim. Ah, uh, well, he's, uh, he's a little guy. The from, greatest of all legends. No, man. come greatest on. Of all, bro. You, know, you, you, don't, you don't know this, man. No. You don't know this. We're going to take a commercial break. Good. We'll come back. Ah, Must please. Ruin. No, no, come on, come on, no, come on, a little, uh, no, I can't, you know, Ali. in Muslim you don't sing about, uh, about your, your dead, we're not Christians, man, you know, Christians can sing all night, so can I sing it? Yeah, sing it, Ali's sing it. dead, I wrote him this song about Ali, now he, he wants died to sing. with everything in he his head, he took everything with him, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't leave anything. <laughs> I, mean, I love it, sir. He just made that up. I just made that up. He died with everything in his head. <laughs> you know. But anyway. Oh, my. Oh, my. What a legend. What a what star. A... It's great to have a tribute to a man hey, like... Listen, man, we're slow in this show. No, we're cool, man. We're cool. No, we're no, slow. It's a tribute, on, man. It's we got to get it going. You want to sing? No, no, no singing. But Ali Masrui, man. That's the man. I He's the man. He's the man. Jeff Kananga Live takes a break. Please keep tweeting at Koinanga Jeff the hashtag is JKL or use the one a lot of you are using remembering Mazrui oh my what a man JKL takes a break we'll be back in the moment Ali's day yeah. Ali he died he, he died, died with everything in his head because he took everything he great song <laughs> 